Let us spend some time with our Gospel reading and our first reading, Apocalypse chapter 14 verses 14 to 19 and Luke's Gospel chapter 21 from verse 5 to 11. The readings of the last week of the church year are about the end times, how hu human history is ending at the Parousia and how in these final times our God's spirit, full power, the risen Lord is approaching us in terms of God's judgment. The temple, which was unimaginable that it will be one day destroyed, shall be destroyed. Jesus sees it, anticipates it, because he knows the inertia of history, how earthly powers run their courses and conflict and fight and destroy. When you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened. On the one hand, there shall be wars, there shall be revolutions, but do not be frightened. Our standpoint, standpoint and viewpoint is something unique, which we share with the risen Lord. I watched yesterday a documentary uh, about Stanislav Lem, the famous Polish science fiction writer. At the end of his life, he made an almost bitter statement. He says that there is no progress in human history, or the way he put it, that humankind, humanity, cannot be improved, it never improves. Humanity never improves. Think of its signs, wars, revolutions, destruction of holy places. But our Christian viewpoint is different. Do not be afraid. There is improvement. There shall be improvement. Christian hearts Christians in their relationship with God and neighbor can improve even if it remains almost invisible if we see the whole course of history. But when our Lord in judgment arrives, then we will become aware of these improvements, the positive changes the efforts of individuals which took place. When the world will end and judged, then we will be humbled, but we will have a thanksgiving heart to see how we personally, in our love, uh, relationship of love to others, improved, perhaps not, most probably not enormously, but step by step. And uh, people living in marriage, children in families, relatives among themselves, friends and colleagues in workplaces, when we look back, we will see this improvement and the source of it are being drawn to Christ. 